TACAX uses a different port from RADIUS, and this is something you need to remember. RADIUS uses UDP, and for authentication, RADIUS uses port 1812 by default, and for accounting, 1813. TACAX uses TCP and uses port 49, and they don't behave the same way. What RADIUS is about is about authentication, authorization, and accounting most of the time for wireless clients, wireless users. So we're going to check who you are and return a profile about who you are and what your access rights are going to be. In contrast, TACAX is more about accessing an appliance and managing this appliance. For example, suppose you want to get into a switch or you want to get into a controller and you want to configure that switch or that controller. What TACAX can do is not only authenticate you, but also return to the switch or the controller all the list of commands that you have the right to type. So this is, you see, different from Reduce, where we say, yep, you have the right to access the network, and you are an Android phone, therefore you have access to VLAN X, Y, Z, with what kind of QoS policies. With TACAS, you're going to say, yes, you are an admin on that switch, but your level of access is limited to those commands. So ICE 1.3, which is the one in the CCNA wireless exam, and although you probably won't have any detailed question on ICE, is only a Reduce server. And I say only because the next generation of ICE also implements the TACAX function. But if you want to use the TACAX function while you're using ICE 1.3, you need to use another product. And there is a Cisco product, which is called the Cisco Access Control Server, ACS, that is both a RADIUS and a TACAX server. And you would use that server for the TACAX side of things if you needed to. But configuring TACAX is anyway beyond what you need to know for the CCNA level.